I'm back. So I got another story. So for most people, sleep is supposed to be restful and relaxing and refreshing and recharging. But for me, I am going into battle, which is completely the opposite. And today is uh, Sunday, July 20th, 2014. It's start eight four one eight four zero. Now there's just like a giant mess of things that always seem to happen to me while I am sleeping. Nightmares. Waking up during sleep paralysis. Hypnagogic hallucinations. Joint dislocations. Sometimes I just can't even sleep at all. As I mentioned in another video, I am actually capable of dislocating my jaw pretty much painlessly. And whenever I yawn, I have to consciously make sure that it doesn't pop out whenever I yawn. And sometimes that happens while I'm asleep because I am I can't consciously make sure that it won't pop out because I'm not even conscious. Before that incident actually even happened, I do remember that it happened once at night and that I was able to actually pop it back in. But let's not reiterate. Anyway, so there was one night where I, it was probably, probably about 3 a.m., that's uh, seven years ago, where a lot of those things all happened to me all at once. I was already sleep deprived this day and I was trying to sleep. Now, I, I distinctly remember that I left my closet light on, on accident whenever I was trying to fall asleep. And I was laying in a position with, you know, the, you know, pretty much like the wall is right here. Let's pretend this is my bed. I was laying here something kind of like this and I was able to actually see my closet. And I was sleeping on my side because that's just what I do. Well, I'm sitting there trying to fall asleep and my eyes are falling shut and they do finally shut and probably what, what felt like seconds later, I opened them back up and all of a sudden my closet light is turned off and the blue cold light of morning is shining in from my window, which would be right here if it were actually that house that I was living in, my parents' house. But I was a little taken back by the whole experience. I was just like, oh, boy, that was really weird. It's just, this is a... Uh... So, this is... Huh. So I guess this is what lucid dreaming is like. So I decide that I'm gonna go ahead and explore things, take advantage of this opportunity. So I get up and I walk out into the living room and I walk towards my mom's office, which is like pretty much on the opposite side of the living room from my bedroom. I noticed that there is no more blue cold light of morning coming in from the windows. It is back to being some earlier time where it's completely dark outside. In fact, the only light coming into the living room was coming from my mom's office. And you couldn't see anything inside the office. It was just, a, just illuminated completely bright white. So I walk towards that office because the stairs that go upstairs are right next to it. Passing it, going up the stairs, and some weird transition happens. And all of a sudden I'm in like a dune buggy, driving around in a parking lot of a price cutter. I distinctly remember the gas station that is in the same parking lot. So that's how I was able to identify it as that place, which didn't make any sense, and the sky is like green or something like that. Um, and those are the uh, two major things I remember about this dream, but eventually I wake up. I end up waking up during sleep paralysis. The only two things that I could move were parts of my arms and my eyelids, but my legs and my head and my eyeballs themselves my torso, my face, no other part of me was working. I was able to see and hear though. Start hearing like a pulsating. Wah, 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 wah. All right, so now we've got hypnagogic hallucinations. We have also got waking up during sleep paralysis. So my eyes are kind of starting to come open and I'm still laying in that same position, you know, as I was describing earlier. But my eyeballs were pointed in some other direction. They were pointed into a blanket but I am able to tell that I'm waking up because I noticed that there is light shining into my room from my closet, which is the closet light that I left on. 
so no part of me can move. I'm starting to freak out. I'm hearing weird noises, and I'm my arms, like I said, they can move. I'm, I'm reaching around trying to find the edge of my bed, but I can't find the edge of my bed. So I'm pretty much about to have like a panic attack here. Like I'm pretty much yelling at nothing at the wall. I'm just like moan yelling at my wall or my, my pillow, whichever was antagonizing me that night. A moan yell. A, a mel. So eventually I start to come to and my eyeballs are starting to work again. And so are my legs and everything. Feeling starts regaining in every part of my body and in my legs, feeling regains with a vengeance. A frickin' Charlie horse. So not only am I about to freak out because I, I, I can't find the edge of my bed and I'm hearing pulsating sounds, but now we have got joint dislocations. Actually, I'm wrong. That's not really a joint dislocation. That's more like a muscle spasm. But I'm sitting here trying to uh, find the edge of my bed. Meanwhile, it, it feels like a freaking medieval torture device is about to pull my leg out of my pelvis. It's like the worst way to be woken up. Because it, cause it would make a popping sound like that. Now I know I need to, to, to really start moving my legs around, otherwise it's not going to go away. Now all of that that happened in this particular night was my fault. But that's just one time. There was another time where I was much younger, where I, I must have got like a fever or something like that. But it was like a fever dream. I really don't remember a whole lot of the dream. But the end result was just hilarious. It's just spectacular. I started getting sick. I'd gone swimming earlier that day and I got home and I was just like, man, I do not feel very good. I must have been like 10 years old. But the only part I remember is where I am laying there in, in my bunk bed, on the bottom bunk. I am laying there and I have like a false awakening. So I sit up and look at my wall and, and there's there's this little dent in the wall which actually in real life was there in my dream it lit up bright white and just like overtook me and then all of a sudden i actually do wake up and i look at that again look down at, at my cat and i just throw the crap up all over her the blue freaking chunks poor tammy so she just like gallops through the house, just dripping vomit everywhere.